Dave O here from the Axiom Body Piercing Studio in Des Moines, Iowa. And coming up right now, we're going to go through the pros and cons of getting a nostril piercing. That's right. We're going to go through five disadvantages and five advantages of getting the piercing done right now. So stick around. Just a little bit of an introduction if this is the first time you've come across one of my videos. My name is Dave O. Um, I'm a professional piercer from Des Moines, Iowa. Um, I own and operate the Axiom Body Piercing Studio and have done since 1994. Over the years I have performed thousands upon thousands of nostril piercings. So what I'm going to go through here is the pros and cons that I've found over the years of getting it done. Maybe to help you give you kind of a more educated decision on whether or not you should get it done or not. First off, let's start out with the five pros. First one, it is a more socially acceptable piercing than other facial piercings. You're going to get less guff, so to speak, um, than you would get if you were getting an eyebrow piercing or something done that's oral. Most people will accept it. Uh, it is an one of those piercings that people are less freaked out about um, when they see them. Uh, unlike like a septum where people are kind of a little like, uh, I don't know what that is. Number two, this piercing has a long history of healing easily um, and being one of the oldest piercings that has been in continual uh, use, so to speak, uh, for centuries. This is not a piercing that is kind of experimental and off the grid, so to speak. This is something that we know and is well established works well. Not prone to migration or rejection. Migration is where a piercing moves or shifts during the healing process and rejection is where the body completely rejects it. Nostril piercings are not prone to this at all. Usually like most cartilage piercings or piercings done through cartilage, they kind of stay put once they're done. Fairly easy to heal. You're looking at a fairly short healing time, usually roughly about 8 to 12 weeks, during which you're going to have to do some uh, cleaning and maintaining, but and avoid some things that I'll get into a little bit later when we get into the pro or the cons. But it's a fairly easy piercing to do uh, to heal. Most people don't have an issue healing this particular piercing. Number five, there's a wide variety of different types of jewelry you can wear. Everything from more bold rings um, and different styles of rings to very subtle nostril screws or stud style piece of jewelry, uh, pieces of jewelry like Libre studs and etc. So there's a lot of variety out there for you to work with, including materials. Now let's get into the disadvantages, the cons. It can affect employment. Um, or even sports. Uh, if you are uh, going out and looking for a job, it's one more thing that people are going to judge you on, uh, especially if you're in a high professional career or trying to obtain one. Uh, it is one of those things that people are going to kind of take a look at and think possibly be very judgmental about the fact that you have the piercing. So you should consider that before getting it done. Other problem with it is, when I say socially acceptable, is if you are involved with any type of sports activities, um, either on an amateur level or high school level or college level, they may make you remove the jewelry during sporting events. That varies from thing to thing. It's definitely something you want to consider before you get it done. It is going to require, number two, you can't sleep on it. Uh, probably one of the most common causes of problems I see with nostril piercings is after a few weeks it'll stop hurting and people will start sleeping on them. You cannot sleep on the piercing during the healing process even though it doesn't hurt to apply pressure to it. We don't really realize how much we move and adjust during our sleep and it can do a lot of damage to the piercing and lead to problems that are difficult to get rid of. Next thing, uh, you cannot wear makeup in the area, especially powder-based or foundation makeups, until it is healed. All those things can lead to serious problems, including laryngeal cysts, and once they form, they can be very difficult to get rid of. This particular piercing, because of the sleeping issue and because of its location, can sometimes be a little bit more prone to scarring and other issues if you don't take care of it properly. And because it's on your face, that is something you need to concern 
concern yourself before getting it done. Aftercare, taking care of it properly is very, very important. If you're one of those people that just isn't going to make that type of a commitment, you should probably not get the piercing done. Enough said. Um, number five, the final one. What it's going to kind of require to heal it. You're looking at an average healing time of 8 to 12 weeks, during which time I personally suggest doing two things. Uh, cleaning it twice a day in the shower using an antimicrobial or germicidal soap, such as satin or proven. You can kind of get away with like maybe dial gold or something that's been the chloride based, but those are your best options. Also doing hot compresses with warm water and sea salt throughout the healing period. Cross contamination prevention. Common sense things, wash your hands before you handle it. No oral contact, no exchange of bodily fluids. Keeping your environment clean, clothing, bedding, towels, anything that may come in contact with it. Not submerging the piercing in the bodies of water you can't control the quality of, which is pretty much everything for, but your own cleaned and well-maintained bathtub. So if you're planning on going on a vacation and it's gonna involve some slim swimming, you probably wanna wait till afterwards. Keep pets away from it. Do not let them sleep in the bed with you. They tend to drag contaminants into your bedding, um, and that can lead to an infection. Uh, already talked about makeup. Um, also avoiding sleeping on it. If you use anything that comes out of a hairspray, uh, or a spray can or a squirt bottle in your hair, you do want to shield with a fold-up paper towel. You also want to do the same thing when you see a beautician. So, there you go. That's five pros, five cons on whether or not you should get a nostril piercing done. If you feel like there's something that I missed or you're confused about something I said, please leave a comment down below. I am happy to uh, go ahead and answer those questions for you. Or if you feel like you disagree with me, let's talk about it. I love to be educated and I hope you do too. Uh, of course, please like the video and share it. And uh, if you like this video and you would like to see more of this type of content on body piercing and tattooing, our focus is always education, uh, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until then, I hope to see you for your piercing needs in the future.